Let's be honest, we all know the feeling of being on a machine like that. Beginning of the year maintenance slash mountain prep because we decided why not break out the season and go to the mountains for ride number one. Oh my god, the lighting is way wrong. So we're going to the mountains in January. Yes. And we're hoping to do multiple trips to the mountains this year. Yes. And for those who have paid attention, we only have like two machines that are mountain worthy. My really fast trail couch and Mindy the Indy. I don't know if they're going to do so hot. We are going to bring the Ace for trail purposes. Obviously the MTX, what is that thing called, a Viper? It's a Viper, her name's Stacy. Uh, sledding is my off season, so I don't really know anything in comparison to off road, but we're gonna have these two and then the Polaris that uh, Aaron's got. What yeah, is that, RK. RK? So then we are gonna probably rent. So we're gonna have our fast machine for the trails and stuff, and we're gonna play around with a rented machine. We're trying to figure out who we're gonna rent that from. So we have a couple of emails out there. We're talking to people. They seem to be pretty excited and we'll see what we can get a hold of. And but what we're gonna rent. Yeah, so we're hoping to find sleds, snow bikes, and try a bunch of different stuff and uh, just kind of live the mountain experience. But we do have to get these things ready to go. Yours has a little bit of maintenance, but it's a couple of years old. It's in good shape. It just needs that little bit of a, a touch. Mine, on the other hand, honestly barely gets used. So. Uh, we only had, what, two trips with it last year? E one. Whatever that place was. We were supposed to go to the mountains. What the hell? Oh, and we went, to, we went to Chittick. We had to and Hudson Bay. No, the girls went to Hudson Bay. Oh, they went to Hudson Bay. That's right. Okay, so yeah. But last year was kind of crazy, cast and all that stuff. We have some, for those of you watching, there was a bit of a, a problem last year, but we're all good now, so... We'll see if we can get some more use out of these machines, and we're gonna do some maintenance now. Bought a brand new bag. Mountain Addictions, oh, great yeah. I have their jury cans, they still on great. We were trying to figure out storage. You have, what system is this called? Mountain Addictions. Okay, and you had two rails on the back so of the tunnel. So there's two rails, come hit it. There's two rails on the back that said accessories can slide onto. So this is what they call the double wide bag. And then they make two jerry cans, or one jerry can, or they make small one place bags that you can have one jerry can, one bag. So you can really rearrange whether you want storage, whether you want fuel, whether you want all fuel. Depends what you're doing that So day. you're going for one storage bag instead of the two jerry's? I'm going for there? one storage bag for around normal times because I rarely need fuel. But when we go up into the mountains, I'm, I ordered the small bag, so I'm gonna have room for whatever I want to bring, food, cameras, such things, and enough fuel that I go, okay, it's the end of the day, let's go home. Fuel. Okay, so I've got a similar setup with the link system. So I've got the shovel, the jerry, so that mounts the back, and then I have this bag. This storage bag is actually massive, believe it or not. And the way it works is it can kind of balloon upwards more and more, and it can go like super high. So. Because the big thing is, we obviously need mountain stuff, right. some supplies, right. things like, you know, saws and whatever else. Yeah. So stuff like that, but then we also have to bring camera gear. So I think I'll have a DSLR and some GoPro stuff in mind, but then I kind of get screwed on some of the storage department. So uh, we're that just trying be, to figure that out. That honestly could be a video in itself of what you got to take. Yeah, because it's easier with the side-by-side -side and the quad. We just either had bags or obviously the side-by-side -side it's the easiest. We can just put it anywhere. We've had it on the inside or strapped into the box and whatever else, right? Like I haven't been doing this long enough to really even know what I like. I've never been to the mountains on a sled. I just recently went with the the side by side and the quad and that was cool, that was different. Yeah, we're just kind of figuring this stuff out, so. We're total opposites. This yeah. is my sport, that's his sport. Yeah, this is my off season. I try and get him into this more because him and his big couch. Hey, she's she's a nice couch. <laughs> yeah. We had to get some batteries. batteries My yeah. OEM battery. Um, the hey. Word on the street is they're not so hot. And then I also, my mistake, killed it once. And it just never came back. I just zoomed into your chin. And then I laughed because his <laughs> yeah. battery died. And then I went to go fire mine up in the trailer and... 
Yeah, yours died Mine's too. Mine's dead. Also factory. That's a 2016. Yeah, mine so did not make it that that's long. That's old. We got two batteries. We got those trickled up. Yours literally just finished. Ready to go. Uh, mine is still in maintenance, so it's going to be a little bit longer. But then I'm just going to basically spin the clutches, check some fluids, and uh, check the track and some other stuff. You have grease. You have... I have a lot of little weird odds and ends that aren't normal maintenance items. But we'll get into that when we can find them. Yeah, just little stuff, and then we're all prepped up. We're going to have these locked and loaded here until we go to the mountains. Uh, and then we got to do... Oh, we got to do the fin trail stuff today. What's going on here? <laughs> I, th I, I trusted you, Drake. And I took that trust and trusted the parts lady. And then the... And then we entrusted that to another guy. When in actual... And we ended up with the wrong batteries. So basically, we took their batteries, charged them, and brought it back to them. Yes. And now we're putting the acid in some new batteries, charge these up. These are the right ones. We ended up getting the wrong batteries, so we had to go on an extra adventure. And it's, it's literally three degrees right now. It's well, beautiful. Prepare to be blinded. But yeah, we literally... Like, don't be fooled by this snow. This is just what I got from the driveway and pushed aside with the tractor. But yeah, we only have a dusting really and we're losing it slowly and slowly. But you know when you go on Facebook groups and they're like, oh, hey, how's the uh, snow in whatever place? And someone's like, oh yeah, five feet, you're good to go. You know, in like September, you can never trust those groups. So I don't think there's any actual snow right now unless you go way, way north. Oh, what am I doing? Get some of this going. Where's, where's the new ones? Oh, yeah. So I had to retire a tool because Drake's pissed off about it. I am. Now I'm going to use these for what they're not intended for. Oh, my God. Oh, that works the new, great. The new ones are garbage too, dude. Oh, it works great. I'm going to get back to these batteries. I got to get them all sealed up and let them sit and then charge them again. I'd say, uh, I think I did it. I made, I made the thing. You're moving on to doing some mountain clutching. Yeah, so if you've ever ridden in the mountains or down low, you'll know if you take a snowmobile that's not turboed, like Kyle's, and you drive around Saskatchewan and then you take it to the mountains, you lose so much power and elevation that if you left, if you look at the weights, this is for Saskatchewan, you know, normal sea level-ish area. Well, this is the one for the mountain. So you can see how much smaller and lightweight and drilled out it is. Is you have to have your clutches set so much lighter to overcome the horsepower loss at elevation so that it isn't just <laughs> way up at elevation, which is because of the lack of air. Kyle shouldn't have a problem. He should make the same power everywhere because boost. Yep. I don't have that. Now, <laughs> these old dogs were even worse. Oh, they, oh, Especially like carburation and jetting and stuff like that. Yeah, so the new fuel injected, they've got map sensors and pressure sensors that can accommodate fuel for air, air right. fuel ratio. It can do it all on the fly with the computer. That old unit, you used to have to change jet size for every 750 yeah. feet. Yeah, grab the screwdriver and just screw so, yeah. in more and more. And for those of you who haven't been to Revelstoke or heard about it, you can do 750 feet in couple minutes not even minutes like if you're playing around on a certain hill or bowl you can do 750 feet in just like a, a swoop <laughs> so you'd be like wow and come back down and be like what is going on so years and years ago when skidoo first came out with the summit the 137 with the two inch and everyone's like whoa those guys were like tuning experts to be like yeah i was in the mountains Yep. Sitting there with screwdrivers and oh man. This terrible. may be my off sport, but uh, it, it makes perfect sense with air density and stuff like that. So like you said, if something can control that air density to an extent, it'll be fine, but it's still not going to matter. The air is going to be so thin up there that even where we were when we were on the side-by-side -side quad trip and everything, like mm -hmm. we were doing some maneuvers and running up some hills and boy, did I feel extra fat going up that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can get away without changing the clutching in an ATV because it's also gear reduced. Like you've got high-low gears. Where these, they go through their gear and their power band so fast through the throttle, it's it just it would. You know, Drake, if you just keep turboing everything like I do, 
You'll... I you heard the joke. <laughs> My <laughs> turbo kit is on Aaron's finger. It was turbo kit engagement ring. We couldn't find the key, so there's literally just two wires. You just unplug one and then you can start it, so it doesn't matter. You know, we had to wait for some batteries to charge and it's kind of like the first step in doing the rest of our maintenance on the actual good sleds. But uh, all reliable here, Mindy the Indy. Well, there's enough powder out there. I can keep it cool for a little while, I suspect. Oh, she'll be fine. Look at the track on her. Oh, yeah. That's almost more than the ace. So we'll just kind of fire this thing off and get her out of here. <laughs> Stupid snow fence. Who put that there? Let's be honest, we all know the feeling of being on a machine like that. Oh, I hear, I hear the, I hear it. Oh God, he's pulling caddies out here or what? Oh, son. I'm sorry, viewers. Oh man, here, I'll try and, there. It's not quiet sled. It is cool as hell though. He's having way too much fun. I absolutely love this turd. There's a snow drift, like right over there. I gave her the ponies there, all four of them. I came off that thing like a bag of potatoes. It slammed down on the ground so hard. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm five, six or something now. But, oh, uh, yeah, this is why. I wanted to show you the fire pit. A buddy of mine built me a fire pit. I know it's kind of random, but you'll see. It's all industrial stainless steel. Oh, that's badass. But it was being thrown out by this company. So my buddy put this together and put a nice M on it for me. And that's yeah, sweet. it's not gonna rust. Why are we? What's firing? really cool is if I can get this thing hot enough, I can do like, you know, the stainless glow, like the blues and the bronzes you can pull off. Yeah, but you got, just gotta do the WD-40 so you can turn it gold. I don't want gold though, I want blue. Oh yeah. I like the blue. So anyway. Sick Meanville thing. Shout out to my buddy. <laughs> Not sure I want to say his name in case he gets trouble at work, but <laughs> we still have to do some fin trail work too. They wanted a video talking about the wrap process. Venice was easy. It wasn't bad. It was my first time and it's a not a small project. So it took us like, I don't know, probably six hours of actual work. Just because like we laid it, I laid one on really bad and yeah. Drake saved the, I don't know if it was this one or the yeah, other one. Was right it? here. This got all. Oh, it was this one. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, you, you definitely saved it. Longer over there. Definitely yeah. saved it there. So. Just like that. Yeah, we only got one more sled to deal with at some point. Yeah, yeah. Aaron's. Which is, uh, I think all we gotta do with hers is clutching and then some track adjustment. Yeah. The clutching on hers, though, could be a multi part thing because she's never clutched hers before. Yeah, that's all right. So, uh, trial and error, man, really. Yeah, so I've done it. So I have my clutching. Funny enough, I was showing Kyle this the other day. My clutching is written on the wall on the inside of my. Oh, trailer. yeah. I forgot about Oh, God, I'm gonna slip. <laughs> Because I'm like, yeah, so that's primary weight. That's all in Yamaha part numbers and grams. Yeah, yeah, that's what you want to know. And once you finally know, make sure you, yeah, you stay so knowing. 
I found what was perfect, Revelstoke at about 7,000 feet, that wide open throttle, I'd be about 100 RPM from Redline, and I was like, perfect. Well, things are parked. Yeah, so the sleds are ready. Um, I'm not sure, there's still a few steps, like uh, a few details cleaning the clutches on Drake's machine, and uh, we have to get the RMK. Aaron has to go and get it. I don't know where she left that. Where was that? It's at her parents' place. It's all stuffed behind another eight sleds. Right. But uh, everything else is pretty much ready, so we're 90% ready to go. Good, good to go. The last 10% is mostly snow. Well, this is the depressing part that I hate because I snowmobile is we have not enough to stick to the tires of my truck. But talking to the guys at the Revelstoke Snowmobile Club, they're gaining three and four feet nightly yeah. at the cabin. I don't know if my it, fast uh, trail machine is going to be doing much of that, but we'll do some trail riding and we're going to rent something pretty cool, I figure, and we'll do something like that. But I don't think we're going to bring the Indy. If we do, it'll just be like a huge meme. But we'll just like send just it to have a something. picture of it at the top <laughs> at by the, the top cabin. Mountain, yeah. That'd be wild. When's the last time you've seen a 98 Indy at the top of the mountain? But yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. It's just a shop video, you know. Uh, I know it's been a while, but the transition of season hasn't been very good. It's kind of one of those things. It's not a really good time to ride the the side by side and quad. We've had a pretty warm winter overall. You're just gonna get into mud and stuff like that. And washing right now is a pain in the butt. Uh, so we got the sleds ready and we're just going to wait for snow. Uh, until then, I didn't really want to make videos just to force it out there. I try to make videos when I want to make videos. So that's uh, kind of what we're doing today. Um, right after this, we're going to be filming a video for Fin Trail and we have to talk about a few things. And uh, the Fin Trail has been super good to us. They're sending us a whole whack of winter gear now. I don't know if you've seen our summer gear, but now we have Fin Trail top and bottom, multi-layer system, all sorts of crazy stuff. So. I got a countdown on my phone, Fintrail. You got 26 days. They've been fantastic. I hope they come in before the, the mountain trip, but we're going to have more than one mountain trip, I figure, depending. We'll see. I think we're doing a bachelor party for uh, Mr. Drake over here. So, Yeah, something of that nature is going to happen. Uh, so enough babbling. You'll, you'll see videos when they come out. Uh, we're still active on Facebook and Instagram, whatever, so just come say hi. If you need have questions, always message us. We'll see what we can do about them. But uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time.